Guten Morgen, Kinder. I'm going to do a bad thing, but not really. I'm going to share with you this great book that I found in English. Uh, it's just awesome about talking about animals, since you've been learning about animals, and the way you can talk about the groups they live in. Some of these I knew, but a lot of these I didn't. And this book is really fun with the rhyme words. And I learned a lot. And this is fun because it's English for you and for me. I'll do a German one later, but enjoy. Crash of Rhinos and Other Wild Animal Groups by Greg Daniel, whatever. Danielson. Here we go. Crash of rhinos and other wild animal groups. Some animal groups have names you've heard, like a school of fish or a flock of birds. Heard birds. But there are other names that are mostly unknown. These creatures have fun. When they're not alone, they're in a group. A group of rhinos is called a crash, which happens sometimes in a flash, honking their horns, always hurrying to arrive with such poor eyesight they really shouldn't drive. They crash into things because their eyes are tiny and terrible. That is true. I thought that was really funny. A crash of rhinos. A group of bears is called a sleuth. They search for paw prints, some fur, or a tooth. They are always eager to solve any crime as long as it's not hibernation time. A sleuth is like a detective. And bears do snuffle around looking for fruits and berries to eat. I learned that too. A sleuth of bears. A group of hounds is called a cry. Not because they are sad or shy. On the scent, their howls give them away. All they want is a friend to come and play. They sound like they're crying, but they're just looking for a friend. I learned that too. This one I love. A group of giraffes is called a tower. The tallest animals have grace and power. Always on watch with their heads near the clouds. They're never too hard to spot in large crowds. <laughs> a tower of giraffes? I didn't know that either. I would just say like a herd or a group. A group of salmon is called a run. Though they love swimming, running's just as fun. A sunny day race really makes them think. They should wear sun black to avoid turning pink. Now that I knew because of Alaska. In Alaska, you can go watch the salmon run, the salmon runs, where Thousands of them are trying to get up to the places in the river where they lay their eggs. Actually, you can see that in um, Washington State and other states as well. Oh, this one is really fun. A group of gorillas is called a band. They play their instruments with feet and hands. Jumping and driving like rock and roll kings in trees or on stage. They know how to swing. 
a band of gorillas. That I might have known, but I forgot. And I also think it's funny because they actually have feet that are like hands. So they could actually <laughs> make a band. It would sound terrible, but they could. Another new one I learned. A group of vultures is called a committee. When they hold meetings, it's not very pretty. With hooked bill and hunched over back, they vote on what's next, dinner or snack. A committee of vultures, they eat dead meat that they find it on the roadway. Um, this is especially funny because a lot of committees of people sit around and decide how they're going to make the most money and steal from people. A vulture committee. We have vultures here, turkey vultures. They fly around on hot, windy days. A group of hogs is called a team the muddiest players who reign supreme. Calling out plays with loud oinks and squeals. Bet on game day they don't miss any meals. A team of hogs. Is there a football team that we know of called the hogs? I don't know. This I knew. A group of lions is called a pride. The king of the beast is known far and wide. With such good looks, it's hard to refrain from staring in mirrors at such a great mane. A pride of lions. They are very proud. Oh, here's one I didn't know. But this animal lives all over the place in Milwaukee by our garbage cans. A group of raccoons is called a gaze. Their stares can leave you in a daze. Taking your food, not bothering to ask, can you recognize thieves behind a mask? They do have a scary kind of gaze. But I didn't know a group of them was called a gaze. A group of buffalo is called a gang. Riding on choppers that rumble and bang. They stop to graze at the grass prairie grill. And don't expect them to pick up the bill. I didn't know that either. A gang of buffaloes? I suppose it matches because buffalo are often out west where there's gangs of mm, cowboys and cattle herders. Another new one for me. I love this one. A group of zebras is called a zeal because there's a secret they won't reveal. They know but won't tell. Which answer is right? Are there stripes white on black or black on white? Good question. A zeal of zebras. Another new one for me. The animal kingdom loves to have fun, but there is one group that won't be outdone. Through their own groups, they would never trade. Who wouldn't join an elephant parade? The parade of elephants. I didn't know you used parade with elephants. I learned so much in this book. And I hope you did too. I did not get this at the library. It's mine. 
but I found it in a little free library and I put one of my books in and traded it for this one. Have fun. My next video will be in German, but we have to learn that too.